And I can't wait so we can break apart to hear me if I seem a little unimpressed with this An antisocial pessimist But usually I don't mess with this Hey guys, Mankind here bringing you episode 3 of my Trade Skill Master tutorial in this episode, I'm going to be going over the TSM mailing module uh, and showing you how to set up operations for mailing so that way we can send uh, all of our items to different characters in an efficient manner. Now, if you'll notice here, my bags are completely full. I have all sorts of different items between transmog, regular items to disenchant, I have herbs, cloth, lock boxes, all sorts of different things I want to mail all over. I've already put all these items into my TSM groups. As you can see, I have them listed over here. If you don't know how to set up groups or you don't know how to install or uh, hook up TSM, uh, I'm going to put the link for episode one and two. You can view those by clicking. I'll put the links right above here. Okay, now to get started, you're just going to open up TSM and choose the operations tab and then choose mailing. And we're going to make a couple operations. The first one we're going to make, I'm going to call it banker. This is going to be the main one you use where all the items that are under this operation are going to be mailed to your bank tomb so that you can put these items on the auction house. Uh, pretty basic target player you're going to put the player name in that you want to send the items to. Let's go ahead and make sure that name is in there. There is a warning on here be sure to spell the name correctly please uh, heed this warning if you spell the character name incorrectly and you use this you will mail all your items to the wrong player so make sure that you take your time and make sure that's spelled correctly. Okay, moving on. The keep quantity, if I wanted to keep a certain amount, like I wanted to keep at least one in my bags or two, depending on what the items are, we could set this number. I want to send everything. This is my farming tune. I don't want to keep any items. I want to keep my bags pretty empty. So I leave that at zero. I don't want to keep any. Um, set max quantity. If I only wanted to send a character a certain amount of items, I could check this and set the, you know, set the slider to however many I wanted to send maximum whether it be 5, 10, 20, 100, 200. I want to send everything so I'm just going to leave that blank. Okay um, that's it for setting up one mailing operation. I'm going to show you how to set up three other ones. Uh, oops, choose operations again and the second one we'll make is called alchemist. I have some herbs I want to mail over to my alchemy character so I'm going to put his name in here. I'm going to keep these options the same. I'm going to make another operation called enchanter. Uh, this is a player that I want to send all my greens to that I want to disenchant. I'm going to put that in here. Again, I want to send everything. I don't want to set a max. And the last one, I'm going to make lock picker. Uh, I have all these lock boxes that need to be unlocked. If you don't have a rogue or you don't have a blacksmith that has the keys, you could. You don't really need this operation. You could just use your banker one and send the lock boxes to your bank tune. Uh, that way you can just have somebody open them for you, you know, in the main city. Um, so that's the four operations and we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how to hook those up to the groups. So go up to the groups tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to set default mailing operations for each one of the parent groups that I have, which are in yellow. And when you set an operation for the parent group, it applies to all the subgroups. And then if we need to change one in particular, we can change that one specifically. And I'll show you what I mean when we get to it. So I'm going to start with my armor, my armor parent group, uh, go to operations and mailing. Now this is for armor. This is not transmog items. So I'm going to set this up to mail these items to my enchanter for disenchanting. I'm going to move down to crafted items. These are items that I've crafted. Uh, I've got enchants and glyphs on here right now. I want to send these items to my banker for selling. So mailing, and I'm going to choose banker, crafting materials, operations. Uh, this is one we're going to change one in specifically. By default, I want to send this stuff to my banker because I have volatiles. I'm going to sell these. Gems I'm going to sell. Cloth I usually sell. Uh, but herbs, I have an alchemist, so I am going to mail herbs to my alchemist. So I'm going to just click on the herbs um, subgroup, choose operations. Now you'll notice that now I have this option here, Override Module Operations. What that means is by default, all these subgroups have the operation Banker. But I want to change just this one. So I'm going to over click the Override and change it 
to alchemist. And that's only going to change it for this one subgroup. So now all of my herbs will go to my alchemist. Next, I'm going to do my lock boxes. Mailing to lock picker. Profession recipes, I want to sell these. These are going to go to my banker. Weapons, again, these are non-transmog weapons. Mailing, these are going to go to my enchanter. And last but not least, my Xmog group operations. These I'm going to sell. So these are going to go to my banker. Now that's it. We've set up four mailing operations and we've added them to all of our groups. So I'm going to go ahead and just open the mailbox. Choose TSM mailing on the bottom. And you're going to want to choose TSM groups on the top. You get a couple options here. TSM groups. This is going to show all the groups that we have that have mailing operations set up. Now if you only wanted to send... Um, a couple of these you could just deselect or you could at least deselect them all and just choose one that you wanted to mail or select all to send all of them I'm gonna send all of them and what's gonna happen is when I hit mail selected groups it's gonna send everything in my bags to the right location and it's gonna print some stuff out to my chat I'll disable my webcam so you can see what that looks like and it's just gonna show the items and what character they're mailed to we like started out just mailed all my lock boxes and now it's going to go through and mail the rest of my gear items. And it's going to take about a minute because I do have a lot of items. So we'll just wait here a second and let it finish. But you notice how seamless this is. I don't have to go and I don't have to click on the 12 items I want to send. You know, all I did was put these items into a group and add the operation and now it's done. Done sending mail. Turn my webcam back on. And that's it. My bags are empty. If I wanted to go and continue doing some farming, I'm all set. My stuff is already mailed. I can go log on to those tunes at a, uh, you know, when I get a chance and I can pull those items. Now I will log over to my bank tune to show you what it looks like on the receiving end. And then I'll show you there's a couple other options that the mailing module has and I'll show you. Okay, so here I am on my bank tune. I do have mail. And let's open up the mailbox. And click TSM mailing. Now you can see I sent, I've got all these nice multiple items from a farming tune. I'm just going to choose open all mail. That's going to open everything well, until my bags are full, but I should have more than enough space. It's really that simple, guys. All those items that I farmed or crafted are now on my bank tune. Once I collect all this mail, all I have to do is go over to the auction house, and I can do a post scan and, and post all these items. So that's it as far as the mailing operation. There's a couple other options that you can see here if you're still at the mailbox. Yeah, you know, we have our TSM groups. We also have this option here called Quick Send. Uh, what this lets you do is you can mail one item of high quantity to one targeted player and you can use this for cod if you want to cod if you're coding somebody a whole bunch of like uh different kind of materials herbs or whatever um just for an example like i have this room cloth here if you just click and drag it and drop it into this box it's going to show the room cloth and then you just type in the target like i said uh, this is the same as the other ones make sure you type it in correctly um so let's see if i just type in Something and just press, um, oops. press enter there. So now it says send all room cloth to healer. No COD. Uh, max quantity you could set if you only wanted to send, let's say, a thousand or whatever. And COD amount, let's say I wanted to COD it to this guy for 10 copper, and then it's going to say 10 copper per item. So I'm going to change that back to zero. And you would just click this button, and boom, away it goes. Um, that's a really nice feature for doing stuff like that. The other tab has a couple different things. The first one is mail disenchantables. Uh, what this does is this is good if you don't have groups set up and you just want to send all your items to be disenchanted. So just type your enchanter's name in here and press enter and then just press the send disenchantable items to character name and it's going to send all your BOE disenchantable items. Pretty straightforward, kind of nice, um, but it's kind of like takes a second 
take a step back from actually having a good group set up. Um, and then you have this send excess gold to banker. You put your banker's name in here and how much uh, gold you want to send them to, you know, if you're at gold cap or whatever, uh, or you want to keep a certain amount. Um, I don't really use it. I, I try and stay away from sending gold in the mail if I can. I prefer to use the guild bank so I don't accidentally send a bunch of gold to uh, somebody else. Um, that's it for the mailing module. Um, if you guys learned anything or if you liked the video, please comment down in the bottom. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, check me out on Twitch for uh, gold farming. Um, and as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.